Hello and welcome to this training series on Kofax RP. This is RoboBear and in this episode we'll take a look at converters and regular expressions. Converters allow us to perform complex variable manipulations similar to expressions. To better demonstrate this, let's create a new type called document data. We will first add a short text variable named ID and give it a default value. This will be the starting point of all our converters, so let's define a rule. For example, all document IDs will start with a three-letter indicator of the type of document. For example, inv for invoice. Then we will have the document number, followed by an underscore and the document date. In order to split that information and store it separately, we will add the following variables. A short text name type, an integer name number, and the date variable name date. Next, we add the new type to our robot and allow Design Studio to automatically name it. Now we can start processing the ID. Let's start by adding an assign step to our workflow. Next to the input field, we have a drop down where we can find the option Converters. We can see that our converter list already contains a get variable. This is the first step when working with converters, getting the value of a variable to be processed. We will use this to get the value of our ID variable. Now we can add additional converters using the plus sign. We have many different options at our disposal and you'll recognize many of them from the expression functions. A very useful converter is the advanced extract. This allows us to use regular expressions in order to extract data from a string. Regular expressions are token-based patterns that allow us to split strings based on rules. You can find out more about regular expressions on websites such as regex101.com. You can even use these websites to create your own expressions in a more dynamic way. For our example, we first need to extract the first three word characters. Then we need everything up to the underline, and finally the date at the end. We can extract each of these individually by using the output expression counter. This will output the specified group from our regular expression. To create a group, simply put the parts of your expression between parentheses. Now, if we increment the output expression counter, we can see it generates each of our groups in order. We will leave it at 1 so we can extract the document type. Before we close this converter, I want to show you a quick tip. You can add expressions as a converter and they function the same as a normal expression. However, you have one added benefit. Each converter you added runs in order and the data processed is saved in an internal input variable. So, instead of referencing outside variables, we can directly type input and we can see what we have processed so far. Now, we can use this input variable in our expression. For example, if input is inv, generate the text invoice, otherwise generate other document. Moving forward, let's take a look at another step that allows us to use converters, the convert variable step. This allows us to perform any number of conversions from any variable to any other variable. We will start by pressing the plus button. The get variable no longer appears, instead we can select our input variable at the top. We can copy paste converters from one step to another by right clicking it. In this example, let's copy our regular expression converter from the previous step and simply change the output expression counter. Finally, we add a variable where to save the data, and we're done. Next, within the same convert variable step, we can add additional converters, or copy the previous one. We will use our regular expression again, this time extracting the last group in order to obtain the date information. Since this date is in a different format than supported by Kofax RPA, we'll first have to convert it. Add the new converter, and select Extract Date. We will extract based on a pattern, specifically day.month.year. The output is in date-time format, 
but since we have no time in our input, it will default to 00. zero. Let's save the output of our date variable, and we're done. We've successfully split the ID into separate variables, which can be used in future processing. This concludes our lesson on converters and regular expressions in Kofax RPA. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.